welcome back to She's So Dramatic. Thank you for joining me for another video. Today we're gonna get our container garden together for the spring. I have a lot of cleaning up to do first because unfortunately I did not take care of my garden through the fall months. Uh, that first semester of teaching was a booger. <laughs> And I didn't get a chance to uh, really care for things the way that I wanted to. Um, so I have some making up to do. And I also want to try something different. Uh, last season, I planted everything in plastic pots. Um, I think I might have had one terracotta pot downstairs. But this season, I want to try something new. I want to try grow bags because I have researched and heard that they are supposed to be better for roots. Uh, because they encourage organic root, uh, what am I trying to say? Pruning. The root pruning process is more organic and natural in grow bags. Um, when you have plants that are in plastic pots, they tend to stay wet, the roots tend to stay wet, and they continue growing and get tangled on each other. Um, so supposedly this is better. I did not have a lot of luck with my tomatoes and my uh, bell pepper plants last season. So I wanna see if this makes a difference. So let's go ahead and get started. So let me start by showing you everything that I'm replacing. So I had all of the plants in this corner of my deck and I'm going to move everything to this side and this side because we are getting a new sectional that's going to take up all of this space. Okay, so in this big tub, I had flat leaf parsley, jalapeno peppers, and bell peppers, and I don't feel like I feel like the parsley did well, but I never could get the peppers to come to, to grow. So there is some drainage um, at the bottom of this tub, but I'm thinking maybe that's not enough. And so I look forward to putting all of this in grow bags now. My tomato plant, uh, I was really lazy last season and I kept it in this plastic container that I bought it in because of the, the caging. Um, again just being lazy ended up keeping it in here and it just did okay but I want to try this in a grow bag as well and I will just purchase additional caging for the grow bag funny story I cannot remember <laughs> what these plants are um, one of these is a uh, mint one of these was mint I had spearmint I had uh, pineapple mint and I had what else spear I think regular regular sweet mint. The other one is a citronella plant <laughs> and I can't remember which one is which and so I'm just gonna have to throw both of them away. I don't want to risk putting anything in with my new mint plants and having it accidentally be a citronella plant. <laughs> so I'm gonna I'm just gonna toss both of these including the pots I think which bums me out because nobody has pineapple mint this season and I was hoping it would come back like my lemon thyme came back so in this pot I had lemon thyme lemon balm and sweet basil I did not use the sweet basil as much as I wanted to so I'm not gonna replant that and then, uh, yeah, I'm gonna put the lemon thyme and the lemon balm in a grow bag. So I don't know what I'm gonna do with this pot, but all of these are gonna go in a grow bag. These two were strawberry plants and I did not yield as much as I wanted to, so I will not be regrowing strawberries. They were cute, it was fun, but like literally I only got five all season. So no more strawberries.
Okay, friends, so here is the progress so far. So last season, I had all of my containers kind of lined up in, in an L shape around this side of the deck, but the sectional is gonna go here. The sectional won't be here until the end of May, but I at least wanted to go ahead and make sure that all of my plants were out of the way. I'm gonna put the cushions on these chairs as soon as I wash them. I am very tired, but very pleased with how it's looking. So I will keep you posted. And for now, I'm getting ready to go take an Epsom salt bath because this was hard work. But I'm excited. Hey y'all, okay, so it is actually a couple of days later. <laughs> um, I am doing a follow-up so I can kind of show you in decent sunlight and in decent weather what the container garden is looking like. Yesterday was really, really gray and cold, so the weather is just now cooperating uh, so that I can give you a sneak peek of how it turned out uh, before I end this video. I'm sitting here enjoying the sunshine on the deck. I actually have my August Wilson American Century Cycle t-shirt on. These are all of the plays in the American Century Cycle. Uh, I have my t-shirt on today because we are celebrating August Wilson's birthday this week. And so we're actually going to have a little um, get together at our theater to commemorate his legacy. Uh, and so that's going to be really fun. I will include some footage of that at the end of this video. Just for anyone who is interested in how my passions and my interests come together on this channel. <laughs> That's how we do things over here. A little bit of everything, including theater. So uh, let me turn the camera around so I can show you what this container garden is looking like. And then I'll let you go. Okay, so I wanted to kind of give you a view of how the deck looks when you first walk out the door. And so I'll turn... So again, we are getting new deck furniture that will be positioned on that side of the deck and that's coming at the end of May. Um, but here's how everything's looking. So let's see, what time is it? It is one o'clock in the afternoon and this is what the sun situation is looking like on this side of the house. So um, the way that I have the plants positioned, I want it to be able to give them either the appropriate amount of sunlight or shade that they needed. So I'll just start over here. Uh, this is red romaine lettuce and regular romaine lettuce. This is cilantro. This is regular kale and red kale. And this is a strawberry plant left over from last season that started sprouting. I don't know what it's going to do, but I'm just going to keep watering it to see if it actually takes off and produces fruit. I had not intended to plant any new strawberries this year because I don't feel like they yielded enough uh, last season, but we'll see. We'll see what it does. This over here is uh, bell pepper, uh, cucumber, uh, a red bell pepper, and what's that? Jalapeno pepper, I think. Yeah, jalapeno pepper. So I know this is like really random for this cucumber to be in this planter with the peppers, but I didn't have any other place to put it. And let me say this, I know that some of these planters need more soil. And so that's what I'm gonna be taking care of in the next couple of days. Um, I just ran out of dirt and I ran out of steam the other day. So I had, I had to do what I could do, uh, but I am planning on topping these off a little bit more. Over here on this side of the deck, we have tomatoes. So these are two different varieties of tomatoes. And then we have squash over here. Both of these plants are squash and both of these plants are zucchinis. Um, they're looking kind of dry. I'm gonna have to 
get those watered then over here that's just a hibiscus plant from last year i don't know if that's going to rebloom or not i'll keep watering it just to see we'll see what it does that's my panera <laughs> lemonade right there um and then over here is the cocktail side of my garden so we have lemon thyme and actually this lemon thyme um the sun this lemon thyme came back up from last season and I was not expecting it to do that. I did not know that it was going to come back up. So that's from last season. I did buy a new lemon thyme plant. So we'll see how well this does from last season. If it doesn't do well, I've always got this one. That's lemon balm right there. Over here is mint. The mint is planted in a container all on its own because mint tends to take over. So up here is sweet mint and that's peppermint. And I'm hoping that my pineapple mint comes back from last year. We'll see. I did bury the roots. Um, so we'll see. If not, none of the stores had pineapple mint in stock. Um, everybody had pineapple sage, but not pineapple mint. So I'm gonna keep looking. If I can find it, I'll go ahead and plant it. If not, we're gonna pray over this <laughs> from last season. And then, oh, see, this ain't nothing. These are, <laughs> These are two extra tomato plants. I don't know what I was thinking. I don't know why I bought extra tomato plants. Um, I don't know if I'm going to give them away or go ahead and plant them. I'm still thinking about it. But anyway, so this over here, that's the cocktail side of the garden. With my lemon thyme. That's my favorite thing to float in my cocktails. Lemon thyme and lemon balm. They're also great for tea. And then mint, as you know, which is great for tea and cocktails also. So that's it just a little something I am definitely a beginner I am a novice I am learning all of this this is actually my first time planting many of these plants so we're gonna see how it turns out but yeah just wanted to give you that update in the sunlight I am most excited about this kale and uh, I will keep you posted along the way so stay tuned for some footage of our August Wilson celebration um, and other than that I hope you are spending time with the people and the things that bring you joy. Talk to you later. Oh, thank you all so much for uh, coming today and for letting us get you together kind of at the last minute with a week's notice. But we are honoring August Wilson this week because his birthday is tomorrow, April 27. He would have been 77 years old if we had not lost him.